F1 Sidemen Monaco Grand Prix. That is what we are going to watch next on Tove Chisel Clips. This is another video made by... Welcome back Whoa, to... whoa, calm down. Don't interrupt me while I'm doing your intro, Bamford MB. Don't do that. It's another video by Bamford MB. The last one we watched on Sidemen Reacts was actually really sick. So I'm excited to see how this one goes. Where did I... Did I win the last one? I won, didn't I? There's no way I'm winning this one. I'm crashing out. I'm crashing out that second lap, if that. I might not even get past qualifying. Let's go! Welcome back to another Sidemen Grand Prix. This time we're Shout in Monaco. MB. But last time out, if you did not see that Grand Prix in Silverstone, make sure you go check it out. It was one of the best F1 races of all time. Bazinga makes that move on Tobe Jizzle and is up in a P2 and then gets very desperate as he goes for a late dive bomb on road to shore, forcing him off the track and allows Tobe Jizzle to sweep on through Come to win on. his first ever Formula One Grand Prix. Come on. Road to shore was frustrated, so was Bazinga, and Bazinga ends up spinning out, allowing KSI to get his first ever podium, podium in Formula One. It was a very bad day at the office for this man, Joshua Zerka, as he allowed KSI to get his first ever overtake on him. And uh, yeah, it was quite embarrassing for Zerka and McLaren had to come out with a statement on their Instagram explaining why Josh was overtaken by KSI and uh, they stated that his head was just... Wait, 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 I've got to read this. I thought he was going to read it out. To the McLaren family, after the disappointment and embarrassment of being overtaken by KSI, we would like to explain the reason. We underestimated the size of Zerka's head, which therefore ruined the weight distribution within the car and made it very hard to drive. The problems have been solved for the F1 Monaco Sidemen GP, and we hope to be on the top step of the podium. Sincerely, McLaren team principal. That is an absolute violation. That is so rude. Why Josh was overtaken by KSI, and uh, they stated that his head was just too big for the car. Anyway, That's it so is rude, a man. debut for I Show Speed. Speed. He'll be racing with the Sidemen today, and when we told Harry that Speed was going to be in Monaco, he got very very excited the fans right. are getting hyped up with this tune from ksi as we get ready for the end of qualifying you can see vic is currently on provisional pole bazinga second toby third, third. and zerka in let's P4. go baby We're actually riding on board with joshua zerka and it's this new helmet cam that we've got into formula one so we can see how he's actually driving through monaco and that looked pretty tidy through there can joshua zerka yeah, put a pole right second now. through yes he can joshua zerka he's on course to potentially take no no, he's got a purple sector two. Away from Vixar one, two, three, who's had a bit of a stinker in that first sector. Many minutes to get through the second off. sector well as well. Oh, and no. I show speed is doing okay. He's doing better than he did in his first lap. But Zerka up to the line. He's provisional pole for the McLaren. Joshua Zerka has many minutes around the, top the final corner. Can he take it away from Josh? No, he can't, but he goes oh, up I've to been pushed down to Vix having a stinker. He's had a yellow first sector. Let he's me go had a again. Yellow middle sector, but road to short. Has gone purple in the first two sectors, but it's a red flag. It's a red flag. Big start is in the wall, and there's going to be some conspiracy theories about this one. What has he done? He's having a stinker of a lap. He's about two seconds down, and he finds himself in the wall. All oh, rocks up, goes Vic, into what the have wall. you done, People mate? People are going to be too asking desperate. questions whether he did that on purpose to preserve his P2 because he was having an awful lap. Road to shore. Wait, is that a double purple? Oh. Does that mean I start in fifth? The money makes Oh so my gosh. Where others keep Wait, what's keeping. going on? Let's go. So Vic, what is your thought on people accusing you of crashing on purpose to hold on to that P2 for Monaco tomorrow? To be fair though. This is so silly. That is all that we is can get so from Vic's <laughs> interview. But let's see how Harry is coping after finishing last in Monaco as he meets with his fans. You boys have no life. You don't do anything. You sit in your bedrooms all day, getting old. Your life's withering away. This is never what are you doing not going to be funny. Do something? Why? Why? No, you've got to stare at a screen till you're 60.
I can hear they're real passionate in this place. We are here on the race day, ready for another Sidemen Grand Prix. Qualifying was a spicy one yesterday, and I'm sure we will have a great race on our hands today. Vicstar told Harry to grow up after constantly complaining to the FIA, and we cannot repeat what Harry said back to Vic. Shock. Be sure to keep an eye on them if Shock. they need <laughs> each other on the track. Anyway, here is our starting grid for today's Grand Prix. Joshua Zerka on pole position Man. with Vicstar 1, 2, 3 lining up alongside him. Mini Minter in P3 and Bazinga in P4 looking like someone stole the last burger at the barbecue. And by the looks of it, it might have been KSI Fuck as he lines sake, up on road three with Tove Jizzle. I show speed and road to shore fill out the back of the grid and I show speed said that KSI will not see the end of this Grand Prix. Oh, damn. A big change to the Silverstone Grand Prix is that there will be no required pit stop for today's race. And oh, you damn. can see Bazinga and Harry having some words over the radio with each other before the race begins. Vic start one Wait, two, what? Harry. Here's a poem for Harry. Roses are red, violets are blue. My newborn baby has better communication skills than you. Mm -hmm. Harry responded, roses are red, violets are blue. Pipe down, Bez, your dad left you. Eee. Eee. Are they, are those two going to clash the again? Radio with each other before the race begins. Vicstar123 has remained focused, ignoring all of the critics, while Road Ashore seeks revenge as he looks to weave his way through the field. But it is Joshua Zerka on pole position That's here racing in for this Monaco dead team. as they line up onto the grid and the red lights are going. It is four, five red lights in Monaco. And away we go, go after a long pause. Right, it's Zerka it that leads us away. He holds onto that P1, but Big Star is looking for a move around the outside. He can't get it done. Mini Minter looks for a move down the inside of Big Star, but can't get it done. But Speed has got JJ past last KSI. And KSI has already dropped to the back of the grid. Road Ashore capitalizing as well. I don't know what's happened there, but Speed up in the P6. That is just the start that he would want in Monaco. The rest of the order remains the same, other than Road Ashore getting through on KSI. So KSI. Let's see how back. Speed did. This. at the back of the grid where he belongs let's see, let's see this start from i show speed he gets away well but in the second phase he slows down he's actually behind road ashore how does he make that move he makes a massive time bomb on ksi putting him in the wall and i'll tell you what <laughs> As I was saying, I'll tell you what, that was a feisty <laughs> move from radio, Speed, man. and I don't know what drugs he is on, but he was loving it. Speed better live up to his is name. putting the to pressure find out. on Joshua Zerka as we are, are we on gonna see any overtakes on this? Bazinga has got ahead of Mini Minter, and Road to Shore is up oh, into shit, yeah, P6 up ahead third. of I Show Speed. So moves are being made here in Monaco, and Vicstar wants to be the next person to gain a position as he is fighting for the race lead. He's on the rear wing of Joshua Zerka. Is he going to go for a move in the chicane? He goes down he. the inside. Vicstar, one, oh. two, three. Oh, he has to cut the corner. Oh. He's not going to be allowed to keep that position. Yeah, Surely give that back. He has to give that give back, that back Zerka, Rick, cheat. otherwise the FIA are going to get involved and give him a penalty. What is he going to do as he rounds, goes through the swimming pool section, the race director Doesn't look like he's trying has to give it got back. involved and he's saying, Vic Star, you have to give the place back to Zerka. So is he going to do it down this next straight? What is he going to do? Vic Star down the straight, is he going to do what he wants or is he going to give the place back? It looks as though he is slowing up. So Zerka around the outside. I was waiting Star, to hear oh, like Vic a... Star sticks it on Bro, through. You... He does it care he said he's given the place back as we go up for revenge Big wait he's a little one, cheap two, around the outside surely not they're going side by side into the casino section big star one two three holds it on through i can't believe it zerka will not be happy with that is it in, no, i don't understand bro i don't understand i don't understand what has happened <laughs> What do you mean? Zerka clearly frustrated <laughs> with Vic, and I wonder if the FIA Vic will does be what he involved. wants, mate. Fucking helmet, boy. On to lap seven now, and you see Bazinga all over the back of Joshua Zerka. No word from the race director as of yet whether Vicstar has to give that place back to Zerka. But I'll tell you what, Bazinga does not care. Is he looking at Joshua Zerka? He's going to look oh. down the inside in Monaco. Right, what Josh is getting out Bazinga. He's up into P2, and now the race director comes on the radio to tell Vic start to give that place back to joshua zerka it gets a little more complicated how does this work now, now? the mclaren is in p3 behind bazinga if vicstar wants to give that place back 
You have to let the Ferrari of Bazinga pass and Joshua Zerka. Oh, what damn. is going to happen here? Is he just going to keep driving and take whatever penalty the FIA gives him? Or is he going to give the place back? It does look like Big Star's slowing up. But I'll tell you what, he's not letting Bazinga pass. He's slowing up. He's hoping that Zerka can pass Bazinga. And then he'll let Zerka pass to hold oh, on to that P2. Oh, he's so Bazinga goes and cuts the corner. Oh, oh my oh! goodness me. He's had a collision with Big Star. One, two, three. I'm dead. The other cars go by. I'm dead. <laughs> and it's a safety car here in Monaco. Absolute carnage. That is how you finish a man off. Whoa. Gosh, Interesting pause, words pause, from pause, Joshua pause. Zerka. Pause, but let's have a look at the replay here. Big Star 1, 2, 3. He is slowing up even Bazinga in hope that Zerka can even make a move. And what again, is Bazinga, Bazinga done here? He goes... He goes for the move and he cuts the corner. Oh. Clips Big Star's back wheel, just spins him around. Everybody else says thank you very Look much. Then you go on through, and then the safety car comes out. And uh, I'll tell you what, you expect to crash in Monaco. Let's see what Ethan has to say. Move from Bazinga as he comes on the team radio. <laughs> and I'd rather not read out that radio message. <laughs> That's mad. That's so mad. We are on lap 10 of this Grand Prix. Right, the come safety on, Toby, top three. is coming in at the end of the lap. You have Zerka still in P1 after all he's gone through this Grand Prix. Sam has been a bit quiet at this one. In P2, someone we haven't spoke about much. Yeah. He's gone under the radar. Could he be the one to take victory here in Monaco? P3, you got Toe Dizzle, who was last time's race winner in Silverstone, looking to make it a double here in Monaco. Go on, Speed you wouldn't let me have the double, would you? You wouldn't let me have the double. Rode ashore in P6, who's been very, very frustrated this Grand Prix. And then you got Big Star in seventh with Bazinga at the back after that incident. And away we go after the safety car. Zerka has led us away with we haven't seen a P2 speed and KSI collision P3. yet. No one can get the jump on the car in front. So we've got Mini Minter, P2 chasing down Joshua Zerka. Hopefully, JJ in takes P1. out speed. Lap 12, you got Mini Minter all over the back of Joshua Zerka. Pause. And he find the move here in the streets of Monte Carlo. getting overtaken by everyone. One, especially with the pace that Zerka's got. But down the inside of Raskas, Mini Minter's through on Joshua Zerka. TMN nah, Bayern Josh, everyone else has done it. We can do this. Move that is in Monaco. We can do this. We can overtake Josh. Everyone else has done it. Oh, no, 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 no. He's going around the outside. We're going side by side into turn one at Monaco. Zerka around the outside. He's holding it on through. Can Mini Go Minter on. take Go on. it? Around I'm the right outside. there. Get on As we go into the casino section, a bit of wheel banging. They're getting feisty here in Monaco. Mini go, Toby, go. Zerka go. Zerka back in the P1. Oh, no, speed's and here. Speed's in the mix. Is waiting to pounce in P3. Is he going to say it like that? Through? Or is Zerka going to hold on to that P1? But Mini Minter down the oh, inside of the hairpin. beautiful driving that from is Simon. Unbelievable stuff. Mini Minter takes the race lead. And that is an incredible bit of racing here oh. in Monaco. And I'm surprised. How that was both speed cars up? came out in one piece. Let's have a look at that first move from Mini Minter into Raskas. He got that move done. Josh is getting Zerka. He's not that close to his gearbox, but he goes for that dive bomb anyway. Ooh. Zerka gives him the room, and that is an incredible move here in Monaco. A Josh might not be that great at driving. Many though. overtakes we've seen plenty today. Zerka gets back through on that straight, and this Mini track Minter is goes so for another ridiculous. dive bomb. This time into the hairpin, takes the race lead. You've got to be aggressive if you want to. Josh Got no to defense. win in yeah, Monaco, man. and Mini Minter is certainly doing that. Come on. 15. KSI Four laps is left. pushing the pace here Come in the on, hold on to the podium spot, bro. Vic and Bazinga struggling to find a way through, and the front three just running away with it here Come in Monaco. But Come KSI on. is all over the back of Icho Speed. Here He's we gone go. for a move. KSI down the inside. His second of Icho Speed. I don't Let's believe go. it. What a move from KSI. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny because this would actually be him.
Less than three laps to go. And Toad Drizzle is trying to find a way past Zerka. Come on. And Mini Minta. It's looking less and less likely as the laps go on. But the odds we believe, are against him in Silverstone. And they are again in Monaco. If results stay the same way, Toad Drizzle will be the only side man to get onto the podium in both races. But it's a red flag. It's no! a red flag. It's no! Aisho Speed and KSI. No! It was inevitable. No! As soon as Aisho Speed was announced, you knew they were going to crash. What has happened here in Monaco? I show speed gets a very good exit. Is he going to look at move on KSI? We didn't even try. Says, See you later. KSI! What's good? We have a two lap sprint to decide no! the winner here in Monaco. It is five red lights and away we go. Zerka gets away well. Mini Mentor has a very poor start. And the McLaren and Joshua Zerka. Is he going to lead coming out of turn one? Yes, he is. Road a short fight with Toe Jizzle and Bazinga. Oh, on, is past mixed up. One, two, three. You can see the Alpine and the Mercedes tangling a little no! bit as they back wheels. But Road to Shore is through. No! And following through comes Bazinga. Toe Jizzle's had a stinker. It's sad. P5, big star at the back in P6, but road to shore. He's in for the race win. He's up at a P3. It yeah, be he your own people, down man. The inside of Mini Minta, up into P2 goes road to shore. He's here to fight for the win, but it's Joshua Zerka leading him away. One and a half laps to go. What is going to happen here in Monaco? Mini Minta, poor restart, I'm and it's human. I'm fuming. The final lap of the Grand Prix. And you can see Rhoda Shaw almost pushing Zerka around the track. He's showing the pace that he showed in qualified. Is this going to be one of the greatest comebacks we see in Monaco? As Rhoda Shaw thinks about a move, but he waits. He can't wait much longer. There's not many overtaking opportunities here in Monaco. I miss Harry's message. Once a crime merchant, always a crap. Why? around the track he's showing the pace that he showed in qualified is this going to be one of the greatest comebacks we see in monaco as road ashore thinks about a move, i hope they all crash waits. and burn he can't wait much longer there's not many overtaking opportunities here in monaco he's got less than half a lap on, force it and lose it all force it and Zerka. lose it all is Zerka gonna get a victory after last time out being overtaken by ksi the embarrassment of that but road to shore oh, down shit, the inside crack. on Zerka. he's done it with two Corners to go. Rhoda Shaw is going to go from P8 Josh, to P1. Kamikaze. What a victory. But Zerka gets a good exit out of the last corner. Up to the line. Who won? He says Rhoda Shaw is one of the timing screens. But that must have been very, very close. Rhoda Shaw. Bro, takes I had it, man. Ever. I had it so in the bag. Victory. And look how close it was. A front I wing. I don't care about these, man. The top two drivers. Fuck Harry. What an incredible race here in Monaco. Let's see that race win it move. From road to shore into Raskas. Speed and JJ, what man. What a move that is. Zerka is going to be kicking himself after that one. He didn't defend very well. He's been caught out there twice this Grand Prix. And road to shore says thank you very much. Yeah, Josh, you got to work on Make your, sure your, you go your defensive driving. Make sure you go ahead and driver of the day in the description. But here's the Bro, Simon results. wasn't road even here, shore, man. He wasn't even in this video. victory in the Sidemen Grand Prix with Zerka in a close second. And Mini Minter getting P3 after looking Harry's got very, to be driver of the day. strong. You can see Speed and KSI be. unable to finish the race. Ethan Bazinga and P4. Speed and JJ Toby ruined Fifth it for and me. And Big Star in sick. Pricks. And uh, we'll see you guys next time Pricks. for the next Sidemen Grand Prix, wherever that may be. Selfish, selfish guys. Vote for driver of the day in the description. It's going to be Harry winning it, obviously. Where is he? W2S vote. Show results. 816 votes. Oh, and nine people voted for me. Hey, everyone in the stream, go vote for me. <laughs> if you're in the stream right now, go and vote for me. <laughs> that was a good video. Bamford, thank you for another, another incredible bit of content. I'm looking forward to see what you come up with next.